We're going to do another example of going from a transfer function to a state space model. But this example is going to use the observable canonical form. So for observable canonical form, <coughs> we use a slightly different way to take some y of s over u of s transfer function and to convert that to a state space model. So here y of s over u of s, I'm going to use s plus 3 over s cubed plus 9 s squared plus 24 s plus 20. This transfer function was used in a previous example for going to controllable canonical form, but here we're going to observable canonical form. So by inspection, I can label the coefficients. So b0 is here, b1 is here, it's actually hidden, it's a 1, so it's implicit. Here is a0, a1, and a2. And remember, for observable canonical form, we always require for this value here to be a 1. So we divide through by whatever this a3 would have been in order to put the system in the correct form. So I can actually go ahead and write down my observable canonical form. x dot equals, this is going to be my a matrix, times x, plus whatever my b matrix is, times u and y is going to be equal to some c times x. So if you've already labeled your coefficients as a0, a1, a2, b0, and b1, now we can use inspection and say that we're going to have minus a2 and 1, 1, minus a1 and 2, 1, and minus a0 and 3, 1, and then 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. In observable canonical form, we start with b0, and then b1, and then we fill in with zeros everywhere else. We don't have them. And we're going to end up with 1, 0, 0 for the C matrix. So now I can take the values a2 through a0 and b1 through b0 and replace them. So minus a2 will be minus 9. Minus a1 will be minus 24. And minus a0 will be minus 20. Likewise for the b's, for b0 I will use 3, because that's how we labeled b0 above, and for b1, 1. And I'll go ahead and write a 0 here in black so that it all looks the same. So this is observable canonical form.